You don't want coyotes living in your residential neighborhood. You want to feel safe. That's especially true for Brooke Andrew, who says her cat Lovey had a close call with a coyote in a neighbor's yard. And she said, oh my gosh, I just saw a coyote in my driveway. It made a big ruckus. I thought someone was trying to break into my house. So when she opened up her curtain and banged on the window, it looked at her and then she realized it had Lovey pinned behind the neighbor's air conditioning units. This is a flyer. Then last week, her other cat, Ace, went missing. Looking through online posts, she realized there are more missing pets. Other neighborhoods that are nearby that run along the railroad tracks between City Park and my neighborhood, we've seen, um, you know, we've seen a lot of comments that animals are missing. Uh, and they don't know why. She suspects a coyote is preying on them. Coyotes are in every major city across the United States, um, and they've been here for quite a while. Bo Gast is the president of the Humane Society of New Orleans. Typically, with a city the size of New Orleans and with the rodent population in the city of New Orleans, they're going after rats and mice. That's what they're eating. If they see a small dog, they may take it, um, but it's very rare for them to do that. Gast says the wild animal is timid but opportunistic and will take whatever they can find. Come on. But to keep them from getting too comfortable near your home, he says, show them who's boss. A bunch of pennies in a Gatorade bottle. You make direct eye contact with that coyote and drive them off of your property. Essentially what you're telling that coyote is, this is my property. Um, I run this. You don't leave. He advises against trapping or poisoning the animals because they'll repopulate to rebuild the pack and usually in larger number.